Hi everybody, I am back with an assumption question and this is an argument here. Uh, there is an urgent need to improve to the recruitment procedures for teaching positions at universities. There have been numerous cases in which academics have failed to hire outstanding young researchers and talented lecturers. For example, a research fellow from Germany complained that his application for lecturing jobs were rejected despite his impressive research and publication records. Another scholar from Spain who had received the excellence in teaching awards also failed to get a job. A number of similar complaints have forced the Department of Education to introduce a policy which requires the university to staff the relevant selection committees with representatives from independent human resources consultancies. This measure will improve recruitment procedures. Okay, so I can see that uh, the conclusion here, this measure will improve recruitment procedures. By this, they imply that they could hire um, uh, or establish human resources consultancies. However, there is a gap between conclusion and the reasoning how this is going to improve or why it is going to improve the point that uh, some teachers uh, teaching position is not occupied by the good lecturers and researchers and so let's see options uh, academics are driven by egoistic interest when they recruit faculty members probably but that's not the point because here we have a gap between conclusion and other part we they do not explain why we have to uh, hire uh, human resources call central so this is not a Human resources consultants will be able to spot suitable candidates for teaching position. And here we have the point that uh, we talked about human resources consultancies and that we should hire a department of um, independent human resources consultancies. And this measure will improve recruitment procedures. And if we put this sentence here, that uh, human resources consultants will be able to spot suitable candidates for teaching position, this will connect this part of the argument and conclusion, and answer is B.